I'm Eita Ameno, a freshman in high school. I'm a loner and an introvert gamer, and I always play games during breaks at school. I win. Again? You're too good, Sakurano. Karen Sakurano has been starting to get into games lately. Since Sakurano openly said that she likes games, guys have been mobbing her trying to play games with her. <laughs> you can't beat me like that. I thought I got you this time. Can I play with you next? Of course. I'll play as many times as you want. It seems like they're having fun. Even though we're gamers, she actually has people to play with. Unlike me, lots of people want to play with her, so she'll never run out of opponents. I wasn't brave enough to go into that crowd because I'm super shy and not good at talking to people. Just as I was about to go home after the cleaning, Sakurano came to talk to me. Hey Amano, do you want to play games with me? Sakurano? Did you wait for me so that you could invite me? Other people come to talk to me during break, so I thought now was a good chance. Everyone is so weak, and I want stronger opponents. You're a gamer, right? I'll teach you how to play this game. Okay then, what are we playing? This, of course. She showed me a fighting game. I had heard her talking about games before, so I had an idea of what we were playing, but the one she picked was a game I happened to be quite good at. Oh, I have that one. Oh, nice. I thought you would get good at it if I trained you a little bit, but if that's the case, I think I'll be able to enjoy myself from the first match. Bring it on! I was very excited for my first match with a real person, but the match didn't last very long. Um, thanks. It was fun. I got excited and played with my full strength and beat her to bits. It seemed like she was winning against her daily opponents, so I thought she might be strong, but I beat her without getting hit once. What the hell was that? You're unbelievably good! Really? I think that was, like, average. It's not average at all. Or are you saying that I'm way below average? Well, no, that's not what I meant. Ugh, one more time! I know that she won't be able to win against me. We won't be able to have a proper fight unless I go easy on her. But it's harder to go easy now because I used my full strength on the first game. Amano, don't you dare go easy on me! She was a real gamer. To go easy on a person who loves games is a dishonor. There is no honor unless you do your best to beat your opponent. Sakurano, can we finish now? An hour had passed since we started playing. I didn't go easy, as she told me. And I kept winning every game. No! I will beat you in the next game! I... want to go home. Are you going to run away? But it's getting dark. Why don't we play another time? I was pretty tired of the intense session. Her defense wasn't very good, so my attacks hit her easily. She seems like the type that wants to attack first, and so her moves were too obvious and easy to read. If she keeps playing like this, she won't win no matter how many times we play. Okay then, we'll continue another time. She finally gave in. If I hadn't gone full on in the first match, Things could have been a little easier. I shouldn't have expected her to be so good. I assumed that she was around the same level as me, even though I hadn't seen her play before. I just wanted to have fun playing games with someone. I don't want to play a one-sided game. I did want friends to play games with, but I think I won't play this game anymore. Amano, I challenge you for a duel. I'll show you how much I've improved. She challenged me again after school. It looked like she was easily beating everyone during the break, but I couldn't believe that she would have improved so much in just a day. Sorry, I'm busy today. Uh, uh then uh, when are you free? I don't know. I just lied so that I could avoid the game without thinking any further. You aren't busy at all, are you? Why do you think so? You don't want to play with me because I'm weak and it's boring. No, not at all. It's not boring. I just felt sorry because it was more like an execution rather than a game. Let's go then. Sakurano pulled my hand and started walking. Wait, where are we going? Your house, of course. Why? We don't have to worry about the time if we're at your house. How long are you going to play? Until I win, of course. Then we'll be playing forever. Oh, just you wait. I will definitely beat you today. My words made Sakurano even more pumped about winning. I gave in, and she ended up coming over to my house. Uh, let's go! Right now! Okay, okay. I was preparing, and just as I was thinking about going easy... Don't you even think about going easy on me! Uh, okay. She wouldn't be satisfied if I didn't do my best. I played as usual, and easily beat her again. Uh, that was just a warm-up! We haven't even started the real thing yet! 
Um, the match was no different than it was yesterday, and I thrashed her. Another match! I will win this time! Um, I hope you do. I won, obviously. Uh, I still haven't reached my potential yet. Ah, uh, I understand she is very passionate about it, but with her playing style, the results won't change. Uh, what the hell? Why can't I win? Should I go easy? Don't you dare! We had been playing for two hours straight, but there didn't seem to be any improvement. It's late, so you should go home. I'm fine. I don't think it's safe for a girl to walk home in the dark. I know you're only saying that because you don't want to play with me anymore. No, I'm actually worried about you. Then, let's make it interesting. Whoever loses the next game will have a punishment. A punishment? The person who loses will have to make dinner. What do you say? You're just trying to eat dinner here, aren't you? That rule means you're having dinner here either way. If you win, you can eat homemade food made by a girl. Wouldn't you like that? I'm not happy winning a game that I can't lose, and making you do something as a result. You think you've won already? Don't you know that a beast is strongest when it's cornered? How can you be so confident? Besides, I don't need a punishment to be motivated. You'll get a treat if you win, though, and I can't afford to lose so easily. Now let's fight! Hey! I'm home! Hey! Hello! My mom came home from work, looked at Sakurano, and seemed very surprised. Oh! <laughs> what a pretty guest! Are you by any chance Aita's girlfriend? No, she isn't. Nice to meet you. I'm Karen Sakurano. I'm Aita's classmate. We play games together. I see. It's nice to know that he has pretty friends. He's always playing games on his own, so... I'll be coming over and playing games with him more often, if that's okay. Mom, long story short, Sakurano made dinner for us today. Oh, thank you so much. You'll join us, won't you? Yes, that would be nice. Even if it was a bet, her skill in playing games didn't change. I did try to refuse, but she insisted since it was a promise, so she made dinner for us. This is delicious. I'm glad you like it. Sakurano was just enjoying talking to my mom. It was a peculiar situation, but my mom didn't mention it. She just enjoyed the conversation. I wonder if this is okay. I felt bad for winning and making her make dinner. And it also felt really weird how she was just blending into our dinner table so well. From that day on, our battles truly began. She would come over to my house every day on her way back from school and lose every match. The one who loses the next match is going to make dinner. Are you eating dinner at my house again? Well, you're going to make it today. She would always suggest that the person who lose make dinner and it became routine. Even my mom was on board with it. Are you sure you are okay with this, mom? Aita, you need to get this girl. You should date Karen. If you miss this chance, you may never get a girlfriend again. My mom seems to like Sakurano. She's trying to get us together. Even though we were just gaming friends, she expected us to go out. Two weeks had passed. Amano, let's play! What's in that bag? She didn't talk to me on the way back from school, but she came over in different clothes with a large bag. I brought my sleepover stuff so we can play games all night. What makes you think you can do that? I don't remember saying yes, and I don't intend to play games all night. But your mom told me that I could sleep over any time. When did you guys... Even if my mom allows it, I won't... What if I say that we have to take one piece of clothing off every time we lose a game? This is just going to make me look like a pervert, so no, I refuse. Why are you talking like I'm going to lose? You're going to take your clothes off. How can you be so confident? Do you really think you can win? You never know until you do it. She almost forcefully made me play with her. Uh, don't look, Amano. Why did you choose this? She took off her skirt, socks, stockings, and was left with just her t-shirt on. She was glaring at me. That's because I wanted to motivate you to do your best. I was playing as usual without the punishments. You were the one that came up with them. I don't need anything, you know. If I lose next, I'll only have my underwear left. Are you still going to take your clothes off? I said you don't need to. After that, we safely landed on the bed of making dinner as usual and continued playing. Ugh, I'll win the next game. You really are going to stay over then. 
We had dinner, showered, and Sakurano was now in her pajamas. My mom allowed her to stay over and wished me luck. What is she wishing me luck for? I won all the games as usual, but Sakurano just wouldn't give up. No matter how many times she lost, she wouldn't give up. I told you, we're going to play all night. Even though it's a holiday tomorrow, I don't want to play all night. Playing games until midnight should be a piece of cake if you're a gamer. I get what you're saying, but I've been winning the whole time. It would be worth doing if we were on the same level, but I just feel bad playing a game and winning the entire time. I did think of losing on purpose, but I've completely lost the timing to do that. Just you wait. I'll soon be way better than you. I don't know how many times you've told me that. You can't win against me. <laughs> you sound like a final boss. Now that's worth beating. I didn't mean it like that. But you wouldn't be happy if I let you win, right? That's right. It's my manners as a gamer. The satisfaction of beating an opponent that you couldn't beat is on a different level. Even if a game is super difficult, you try every last method to get to the goal. That's what makes games so fun. I'm making a punishment again to motivate you. Wait, let me choose the punishment. Otherwise, you'll choose something bizarre. If you lose, we stop playing today. That way, I will do my best, and you will try hard not to lose. Oh, that's so mean. Do you want to end it that badly? I just want to finish for today. We can play again tomorrow. Okay, fine. I'll accept that. Let's get started then. We haven't decided what we'll do when you lose. I won't lose, so I don't mind doing anything. Then... Would you be my boyfriend if you lose? What? You said you don't mind doing anything. Wait a second. What merits do you have when you win? Isn't that more like a punishment? Can't you tell from the fact that I came to stay over? I like you, Amano. What kind of joke is this? Is this a tactic to confuse me? Just as I was questioning her, she came and hugged me. Do you believe me now? Are you... serious? Her tone became serious, but gentle. I like playing games. No one has played games with me like you have, Amano. I want you to be my boyfriend. Do you not like gamer girls like me? Not at all. I've just never seen you like this before. You would challenge me so many times I was thinking of myself as a wall you want to get past. Think about it seriously then. Would you go out with me? Well... I looked back at the days we spent together playing games. It was a little forceful, but I had never played games with someone before, and it felt really fresh. I have to say, it didn't feel bad. I'm happy that you feel like that. I'm just not sure what becoming boyfriend-girlfriend means. Then, let's do things that a couple would do. We have the whole night. What are you going to do? She unbuttoned her pajamas and looked at me with her seductive eyes. There's only one thing a couple would do when they are alone together. Are you staying over so that you can- Hmm, I wonder... Calm down! I was playing a fighting game with her all this time, but now I was playing a real-life dating simulator! <laughs>